Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and this is an easy percentage trick that you didn't learn in school. Now, okay, maybe a little clickbait here, maybe you did learn it. I didn't, or I didn't think I did, if I did, I don't remember it, but hey, either way, this is going to be helpful for you. We got 16% of 25. That's a difficult percent to do. I don't know. I don't want to grab a calculator. Uh, well, what about if I flip it around? That's the same thing as saying, what is 25% of a 16? Same exact question. Well, 25% is like a quarter, right? One quarter of 16 is just going to be a 4. And so 16% of 25 is equal to 4. And if you don't believe me, you can check it on a calculator. Now, let's go through some other examples here that really might help you out. The first one I have here is a, well, 42% of, what did I want to do, 50? What is 42% of a 50? Well, let's apply the same thing from before. Let's flip that around. 50% of 42 is the same exact question. Oh, well, 50% of 42 is a lot easier. What's half of 42? 21. You know that. So 42% of 50 is 21. Not bad. The second one I want to do here is a 40% of a 75. And the last one's a little tricky, so make sure you stay tuned for that. 40% of a 75. Same question as a 75%, if I can write the word of, of uh, 40. All right. Well, 75 is three quarters, right? Three quarters of 40 is just going to be good old 30. And so 40% of 75 is, well, 30. Now, lastly here, 66% of 150. Uh, you're thinking, hey, Sean, does this work if the number's larger than 100% or whatever it's going to be here? Well, let's see. Flip that around. 150% more than 100% uh, of 66. What does that equal? Well, 150% is like one and a half times. One and one half times a 66 here. Well, half of 66 is a 33, right? So we have really a 60, or 33 plus a 66, which is a 99. And so 66% 6 of 150 is a 99. And it even works in that extra little tricky way when we have 150%. Well, I hope you learned something here and this really easy tr percentage trick that maybe you did or didn't learn in school. And if you learned something or you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for anyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.